Right, I've started on to today's mission. Um, stripping it down, ready for the new camshaft. Everything to go in. Um, to get the camshaft out, obviously you need to take the, uh, the the timing gear out, the timing case off. Um, you have to undo the big nut on the bottom. Apologies, I did actually film doing that, but the camera fell over and I didn't realise. Um, so basically all you got is uh, a lot of grunting and hammering noises and uh, a shot of the floor. Um, so to remove this, the skew gear, the drive gear for the um, for the fuel pump, you need to remove the oil filter housing. And in there, there is, get it in the view, a little tiny flattered screw there, a grub screw. That goes into the brass bush that holds the uh, holds the screw gear in. So it's literally undo that screw and that'll pop out. Um, timing, making sure everything's timed up, and that isn't really crucial at this point. Um, you can't put that back in, obviously, until the camshaft is is timed up properly, and it can be a bit of a pain to line that up. It's a bit of trial and error. Um, you slot it in, no, that's not right. Take it back out again, slot it in. You can't really 100% guarantee everything's timed up until the head's back on and the followers are in and everything. So, uh, unless, you've got, unless you've got marks on the end of the camshaft, which I've, I've done a couple of these and I've never had one with marks on it. So, yeah, I'll... Uh, We'll get this timing case off. That's simple enough. All the bolts, don't forget the three that hold the um, uh, the front of the, the uh, pan on, the oil pan. Uh, but this is why I was saying you need to undo that little tap there on the side, drain the drain, make sure you drain the water right down. Because when you take this timing case off, it's um, It'll drop a load of water out of there if you haven't drained it properly, and it'll go straight down into the into the pan. I think that's where that mayonnaise was coming from in the earlier videos. Um, but yeah, it's simple enough. Half inch or thirty mil, all the all the way round. Um, then on the bottom, yeah, they're half inch as well. Um, and just pull the case off. You, 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 you're going to need a full gasket kit to do this job because you can guarantee that you can see it's got a bit of silicon sealer on there as well. So uh, you can see it's uh, it's going to knack the gasket. Be prepared to have to replace the sump gasket as well. They do tend to uh, they tend to just rip off on the bottom, especially if it's got sealant on it. Uh, but yeah, I'll get this off. Under all the bolts and take it from there. I've just put a tire up round there just to stop that from pinging out and, fr and exploding all over the floor. Um, I want to lift the tensioner out. Uh, just put that down there. Look. Just so it's not it's not flying all over the place. Just keep the bolts. To one side. Uh, sorry, I'm knelt on the floor here. I've, I've really limited with space. It's killing me. Uh, you see that comes loose now. But just to stop that, just to stop it from dropping. And that's it. That's your tensioner off. So now you can you can store that. Uh, just without losing everything. It will go a bit tighter and a bit closer together, but let's put that on the bench. And you can see why it's important to be careful where you're putting your silicon. That's on the, uh, I assume what's happened is there actually, um, when the timing case has been put on, it's been 
it's been sealed around the, around the back of the timing case and as it's gone on it's just touched the, touched the cam chain but that's all all loose now let's, let's trick it with one hand let's have that off right that's that off now you, your cam's free to spin That's free to uh, free to turn around and free to come out. So we need these little lock tabs. We'll knock them off. Uh, we'll knock them over, should I say? And uh, we'll get that sprocket off. Right, just crack the nut. It's uh, it's not a hard one to undo. And uh, these, are, if you can get hold of these with them. It gives you a lot more adjustment on the um, on the camshaft, on the timing. If you can get one with the keyways, multiple keyways in it, let me get a rag on that. As you can see there, it's been marked where it would have originally been. You've got a dot there and a dot there, so. I guess getting a bit closer. It's been adjusted. And that should just uh, pry off there quite easily. I'm not usually pretty tight on. Well, uh, there we go. And uh, that's your retainer for it, for the camshaft. Make sure you don't lose that woodworth, woodworth key if it drops out. Keep an eye on that, you don't want to lose that. But, yeah, so originally some dots would have lined up like that. I'm pretty sure, I mean these are the same size for the petrols and the diesels. I'm pretty sure it's only the diesels because the, the, the timing is more, more critical on the diesel. Because it drives the fuel pump and everything. Um, but if you can get a diesel one of these, it gives you a lot more, a lot more adjustment on your on your petrol. Yeah, it's worth worth taking a note where all these bolts have uh, come out from because there are different lengths of bolts. Obviously, that's quite a short one. And the bolt that comes out of there is really long, so you don't want to get them mixed up. And end up uh, trying to force it in, knackering the threads up inside, or extreme case, uh, cracking the block. But with that everything undone now, it should literally be. Yeah, you can see it. A case of. There we go. Simple as that. There's all your timing gear. Just put that down there. It's got a brand new chain on it, um, so that shouldn't cause any big any big problems. Um, see, that's going a little bit slack, but yeah. Uh, so obviously. The drive gear for the cam will have to come off, the sprocket for the cam will have to come off. I need to undo this tensioner, lift the chain off. Um, getting everything lined up perfectly isn't an issue. I mean, obviously, you've got no head on it, so it's, it's when it comes to bolting it back together again that you've got to make sure everything's lined up properly. Uh, but yeah, we'll get all this off and uh, and uh, take the tensioner off, take the chain off, take the uh, the nut out of the sprocket, that usually comes out pretty easy. Um, especially if you've got an impact gun or something, you can just buzz it out. Yeah, but because I've drained the water out of there, no water's come out of here. So, 
there's no water gone down as you can see there you can see the, the sump is completely open which is like I said what I think caused it last time and the, the sump gaskets actually remained intact so oh, it's terrible this day you see that down actually that's actually in the engine um, that will clog up your oil pump but I do turn, I do put a bit on but not not this much I'll have to have a word to my lads about that right yeah I'll get cracked on right let's get that uh, skew gear out like I said you've got a little little grub screw there usually come out they're covered in oil so they usually come out quite simple quite easily minimal minimal effort they don't tend to seize in I'll get that out don't lose it just put that there if we get a pair of pliers long nose pliers would be easier that should just lift it out like that that's that's where the uh, where the grub screw goes in um, that spins around on there it's just a bush but that locates the height of the gear and uh, stops it from dropping down and obviously um, you can then see down there's the, uh, the, the drive for the uh, oil pump or comes off the camshaft Right, let's have a look at this. Even get you in some light, and we'll have a we'll have a look. And the wear's not too bad. It's, obviously, it's it's got some marks on it, but it's not excessively worn out or anything. So that's perfectly usable. Yeah. There's uh, nothing on there to suggest that that's the problem. And lining this little bugger up when you put it back together again, there's the time consuming bit. Because when it goes down, you have to line it up. Actually, I don't know if you can see on there. Let me see, get a torch. What I've, oh, is that? What I've got is, see if I can get you in the right light. Ah, there. See them lines there? That's uh, you've got one line on the horizontal going straight across, and the other line, you might be able to see them on this side as well. Though. The other line is 20 degrees. It's handy if you can get the marks on there. Uh, the factory, the, the factory does not have them marks. So I've put them on there myself. So then, when it comes to lining, lining the um, the skew gear back up again you've got an idea where it needs to land it just gives you the and all, and all I did was because it's the horizontal from from the center of that knot from the centers of them two knots there and it comes straight across and then what I've got was um, if I can find it bear with me a second I'll go and find it Right, found it. Um, what I've got was that. Now you can put that on. You line up your. It's hard to see in this light with, without. I've normally got a spotlight on, but you line up your your zero and your one eighty, and then just mark your twenty degrees. Then you can do it by eye, and it gets you in a ballpark, and then that gives you enough adjustment so you can uh, adjust the pump. That gives you the marks. Um, just so you've got, like I said, so you've got a ballpark, you know, you know roughly where you're landing. Then you can see them better there. Right, that's off. Well, that's out. Should I say? Let's uh, let's get the camshaft out. Right. You your camshaft retainer there, you've got the two little tabs on it. 
you undo the two nuts, which are seven sixteenths, and you can uh, then remove your retainer, your retaining plate. I'll try not to drop these on the floor while I'm at it, and that just comes off. Simple as that. Right, and then your camshaft's ready to come out. So it should literally be. Oh, there we go. Try and be careful not to. Uh, not to damage the surfaces. Come on. Right, and we're out. There we go. And what I'll do now is take some measurements of that. Sorry if I'm not getting it in shot. It's, it was a bit tricky. Um, I'll clean myself up a second. So I'm now covered in oil. And uh, give this a wipe down and see what we've got. I'll measure it against the uh, against the new one and see what these lobes, cam lobes, are telling me. Yeah, they're not telling me a lot at the minute. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll get on that and uh, come back to you in a minute. Everything's now laid out, ready to go back in the. Uh, in the block I'm just waiting on the bits from um, paddocks the camshafts I've measured the lobes on the camshaft and uh, everything seems to be within tolerance you can see signs of wear on the skew gear uh, drive but nothing too drastic I wouldn't think but yeah, I, I don't, I'm now sort of thinking maybe that wasn't the problem, but you don't know until you get these things apart. And I didn't want to take it apart, find out there was a problem with it, and be sat waiting for parts to get delivered. So I thought, order it, chuck it in. Uh, can eliminate that then. Can eliminate that completely. Can eliminate the valve stem seals. So, what I'll do is uh, now wait for them parts to arrive then get this built back up I might just slot the camshaft in just so it's not rolling around on the bench I can't really set get the timing chains on and set set the timing until until I've got all the all the lifters um, but yeah that's uh, that's where we're at as soon as I get get the bits, we'll uh, we'll put it back together again. It's a lot of work to try and to try and figure out, but what can you do? All you can do is start taking parts off. So I think um, I will find another specialist, diesel pump specialist take the injectors in the pump and get somebody else get another opinion on the pump and uh, like I said see if I can uh, see if I can find one I can borrow to put on once it's all back together again so yeah I'll uh, when I get the parts in I'll do another video reassemble it and get it running again see you soon